I try to play music on the drum set. When I sit down, I'm not thinking, this is the drum stuff I'm going to play tonight. I practice this rudiment, I practice that rudiment, you know. And I'm going to get this one off tonight because I've been working on it. I've learned that the music I know is directly responsible for the music I can play. So if I don't know any music, I can't play any music. So I continue to work on playing trumpet. Uh, I teach now. Teaching is one of the most enlightening things you can do to develop as a player because if you're talking out of one side of your neck and playing out of the other, your students will tell you or they'll leave you one or the other. All of these things are what make my music whatever it is. I'm so excited to be a part of the Vic Firth family and being with Vic Firth is, is, is like coming home. The, the quality is unbelievably consistent. The integrity of the wood, the integrity of the company to support you as an artist, as a player, as a person who wants to move the agenda of drumming forward not just on the stage, but in the classroom, is uh, why I'm really excited to be a part of it first. The project today that I'm really excited about is, for one, this organ group called the Unity Project, um, which features the music of Larry Young, and in the spirit of Larry Young, but it's not just a one band thing. I learned that from David Murray. So I'm really proud to say that the Fotet, maybe the band that most people readily identify me with because it was so different when it hit, is celebrating 20 years this year. It's not easy keeping a band together for 20 years. And we're doing a big concert at Berkeley where I'm a professor. And then um, a trio that I have with a pair of musicians who are brothers, the Curtis brothers from Hartford, Connecticut. You'll keep your eye out for that. Uh, and my teaching stuff keeps me really busy. Not only the residency I do in Holland four times a year with the Prince Klaus Conservatory in Groningen, Holland, but my full-time professor position at Berklee College of Music in Boston. And one of the things I'm teaching now is muscle memory. Your head should be the idea resource, right? And how you play it ought to come from almost a mindless execution that is stored in the muscle. Tiger Woods hits the ball 400 yards straight every time muscle memory. Ray Allen's jump shot is muscle memory. How to throw a split finger fastball and make it break on the inside corner as opposed to the outside corner. That's muscle memory. You can't be thinking about that when you go to do that. And so that's, that is an area, especially with tempo, that, that uh, I work on when I'm in my teaching and in my playing. As I've continued to grow as a leader, I've continued to grow as a side man. And so what I learn gets fed back into my music. My great friend, my 
Brecker, who I miss so much, you know, uh, taught me so much, not just about music, but about what's important about being a musician and about being a drummer and recognizing the balance that doing this is what I do, it's not what I am. Like the two schools of thought of the guy who just wants to play his instrument and doesn't care what he plays and the guy who will take a day gig to play the music he plays, there's a school of thought that says I'm an entertainer and there's a school of thought that says what I do is a craft and an art and watching it can be entertaining but if you don't get it please come back because I'm still working on it and it'll be in another place the next time you come to see it and that's the artisan approach as opposed to the because the entertainer follows trends trends that are set from the outside the artist follows the inner voice yeah. and so that's the way I choose